shrooms, or shrooms as they're known, are illegal under federal law. But now, just like Delta 8 marijuana, which is a weaker but legal version, shrooms are also finding their way onto store shelves, legally. Ebor's Carlos Hermida believes in the benefits of shrooms so much, he's added them to the name of his business. It's now the Chillum Mushroom and Hemp Dispensary. He calls it the first legal mushroom dispensary in the U.S. And these are mushrooms that can actually make you trip, and they are legal by federal law. They will make you get high and trip. Yeah, these, these do have psychedelic effects, yes. They're legal, he says, because they don't contain the mind-altering compound psilocybin, which is a Schedule One drug akin to substances like heroin, meth, and LSD. These products do, however, contain other compounds that have basically the same effect. All you need is one capsule to really feel the effects. The psychedelics in general are very beneficial for trauma, PTSD, anxiety, um, and even microdosing can just help average person get through the day. Once considered mostly a hippie drug, psychedelics have made a comeback recently. In fact, their use as therapeutics is the focus of the new Netflix series, How to Change Your Mind. But some, like Ellen Snelling of the Hillsborough County mm, Anti-Drug Alliance, worry about the darker side of these products and whose hands they may fall into. My biggest concern is children getting in the wrong hands. <laughs> developing <laughs> Drug, she act like you can't get uh, beer out of your dad's fridge as a kid. See a lot more of these products sprouting up all over. Josh Cassio, Fox 13 News.